Hi, so a while back I stopped using the typical porcelain mugs for coffee because they gave me a number of problems that were solved by this, the 14 ounce Yeti mug, or should I say, three of them. And in this video, I'm going to discuss whether you should pick one up for yourself and also why they can't fully replace porcelain mugs. Build is absolutely solid with all stainless steel and a durable powder coat on the colored models, but even though these are technically dishwasher safe, I like to hand wash them anyway to protect the colors. And definitely don't drop these on tile, it's stainless steel but it'll still dent or scratch if you give it the chance. Something Yeti likes to tout on their drinkware is the triple hall grip, which is basically just a fancy way of saying big handle. But whatever they call it, I definitely find it comfortable to hold even though it isn't contoured like a typical porcelain mug. Flat surface I think gives me a bit more leverage and it has plenty of finger room. Also, this mug made me realize just how much I can't live without a lid on my mugs. I like brewing a 12 ounce cup in the morning and porcelain mugs tend to fill up pretty quickly with coffee and milk and that just makes it so much easier for it to slosh out. I mean, the last thing I want to do after I wake up is clean up a hot mess, but the lid isn't just for spills. It also helps trap the heat because this is an insulated mug. Plus, I feel way less funny out putting the lids in the dishwasher and the lids have magnets and magnets are fun. So, it's an insulated mug. Does it insulate? Well, I haven't run any scientific tests on this, but just from day-to-day -day usage, I tend to notice that with milk or creamer or whatever cold liquid you put in your coffee, it can stay at a pretty drinkable temperature for about one to one and a half hours, although probably a bit closer to the one hour mark. And the less drink you have in your mug, the quicker it will begin to cool off. That being said, if all the liquid inside is hot from the get-go, it tends to get closer to two hours. So no, it won't keep your coffee hot all day and probably not even all morning, but I have found that in the morning it just makes coffee a bit more sippable. I can actually enjoy it without having to finish it before the room temperature does. Now with all the great things I have to say, you might be thinking, well man, I guess it's time to grab about 50 of these and start stashing up my old mugs, so I guess I don't need them anymore. Well, yeah, that's not entirely true. Even though Yeti mugs do tend to trap heat really well, that doesn't mean that they do trap it forever. And if your coffee gets too cold, you've got to microwave it in a mug that's safe for doing so. And metal isn't exactly known for being microwavable. So even with how great these are, if you do decide to get one like this for yourself, I still recommend keeping a porcelain mug on hand in case you ever need a reheat. And then of course there's also the competition factor. What about all the cheaper alternatives that you can buy instead of this? Well, honestly, I can't really speak to the competition because I haven't tried any of it myself. That being said, I personally think that the design alone is worth the price. The big old handle and the mag slider leg really set it apart from everything else. And it definitely helps if you're already in the Eddy quote unquote ecosystem since you can pretty much just swap out the lids and such if need be. I mean, I literally have three of these. I think that kind of speaks for itself. So even though they tend to run for about $30, I still recommend it. It's durable, it's easy to wash, comfortable to hold, it retains heat really well, and it comes in fun colors. Plus, there are other sizes depending on what your needs are. There's a 10 ounce for more space efficiency, and there's even a 24 ounce for a big ol' load of coffee. Really, the only downside is the high price tag. But like I said, I can't compare these to the cheaper options because I've never owned them. But that being said, if you have something similar and you'd like to share your own experiences, please feel free to do so in the comments. Also, let me know if you plan to get one for yourself, and give a like if you got value out of this video. Look forward to hearing from you, and I'll see you all next week. Adios.